This is not a privilege. This is a right that each and every one of the workers and responders have earned. Their families deserve it. City council members rallied with unions outside the September 11th museum to demand the reauthorization of the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund. The fund will expire next year, even with claims skyrocketing with more and more people, from first responders to volunteers to children coming down with diseases years later. Imagine a first grader walking back into school. Imagine that first grader as an 18-year-old being diagnosed with cancer because they were told they could go back to their school. Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney is a prime sponsor of the bill which would permanently extend the fund. On September 11th, we lost almost 3,000 lives. But since then, many, many more thousands have died. Soon the number of people who have died because of the deadly toxins that they were exposed to will be larger than the number that died on 9-11. And many of those victims and family members are feeling a real burden right now as benefits have been slashed up to 70 percent to try and extend the life of the fund until Congress can act. These cuts have taken effect. There are people right now having a conversation. Do I pay the mortgage? Do I put gas in the car to get to my chemotherapy appointment? The bill is expected to pass the House of Representatives by the end of summer, and there's also a great amount of support in the Senate. But historically, rural senators have raised concerns about renewing the Victim Compensation Fund because of the billions that it would funnel in their perception to big cities like New York and Los Angeles, where there's also a large cluster of people who got sick following 9-11 and relocated to the West Coast. By the way, there's a dedication of a glade and open space to those who died of 9-11 related sicknesses. That's happening tomorrow. Live in Lower Manhattan, Henry Rossoff, Pix 11 News.